So number five, we have a function and then we even have the graph. So we want to find the vertical asymptotes and the horizontal. So the vertical comes from the denominator and this is a difference of squares. If we factor this, we get x plus 3, x minus 3. And if we solve, that's a 0. Remember, if we set each one equal to 0 and solve, that's how we get the vertical. So you can actually see from the graph, they're negative 3 and positive 3. But if you weren't sure, you can solve. The denominator. So x equals, oops, 3, negative 3. And then we want to find the horizontal. So maybe you can see it from the graph, maybe not. We have the degrees 2 over 2. So when it's the same degree, we look at the coefficient. And that's the number in front of x. But we need to put this negative somewhere. So I'm gonna put the negative on the numerator. You can actually put it on the numerator or denominator. And then we're gonna look at the coefficients. So this negative means there's a negative one right here. And then there's always an invisible 1 next to an x. So the coefficients are negative 1 over positive 1, which simplifies to negative 1. So y equals negative 1 right here is our horizontal asymptote. 